I'm here to talk to you about your PMP exam or your CAPM exam. Now, if you're looking at taking the PMP exam based on the PMBOK Guide 5th edition, look no further for help. Help is right here. At Praise Young Media, we have various products to simplify things for you to make it easier. The first product is the Project Management Audio Digest. The Project Management Audio Digest is 18 CDs of phenomenal audio entertainment and education. That's right. I know some people think the E word is a forbidden word in the area of project management, but it's not. We have got live dramas. We've got a little bit of music, a little bit of humor here and there for you. But we have 18 CDs, absolutely solid, full of nothing but great instruction regarding the PMBOK guide, regarding the ITTOs. Now, do I need to remind you of what we have to accomplish on this journey? Do you mind if I just grab something to show you what you need to be aware of? One moment here. You need to be aware of this huge book. <laughs> just take a look at that. I mean, if you swat someone's head with this thing, that person will probably fall unconscious. It's quite a lot of information. It's quite, I mean, be honest, take a look. That's big. But the good thing about our solution here is it decompresses your brain of the stress of going through this heavy, massive book. By the way, I think it's a great book, but it's dense. And some of it could be extremely dry if, unlike me, you've not worked in deep project management. I'm talking about deep waters project management. Not everybody can go through this book conveniently. So what am I trying to tell you? Think about audio. 18 audio CDs to boot you into shape, to inspire you, to motivate you. And by the way, these 18 CDs also come with over 20 hours of additional audio and video to watch online via a learning management system. Uh, we've got all sorts of goodies, plans, quizzes, games in store. So if you're thinking of taking the PMP exam or the CAPM exam and you're having sleepless nights, tackling the beast, don't look any further. Don't waste time. Visit www.praizion.com for your own good to get this phenomenal set of audio to boot you into shape, to equip you, and to remind you that you absolutely can do it. Now, when you get this audio set, you will also be invited to our online LinkedIn study group. You will have the opportunity to ask questions, get questions answered. You see, don't walk the mile alone. Don't go alone. There's no point in going alone. You've got a friend in Praiseon Media. We're here to help you to put you on the right path to ace the test, to get this stuff into your head, to demystify all of these pesky little ITTOs. Speak to you soon. Stay mysticated. That is PMI-sticated. Welcome to the Project Management Audio Digest a series of project management audio teachings and instruction by project management author, trainer, and coach, Phil C. Akinwali. No part of this publication may be reproduced, transmitted, transcribed, stored in a retrieval system in any form or by any means without the written permission of Prasian Media, LLC. Phil holds various PMI certifications, the PMP, CAPM, OPM3, PMI-RMP, PMI-SP, 
as well as other management certifications in Scrum, ITIL, and Microsoft Project. The Project Management Audio Digest involves detailed teaching and reviews of the PIMBOK Guide 5th Edition taught from a practitioner's perspective. Learn key tips and tricks for your exam while staying entertained through project scenarios across the knowledge areas and process groups. This audio teaching is specifically for PMP or CAPM exam aspirants or any other PMI exam aspirants looking to better understand the PIMBOK guide and project management concepts. Chapters are broken down by process and in some areas, ITTOs. The best way to use this series is to listen to a chapter on CD and then read the chapter in the PIMBOK Guide 5th edition. As you prepare for the PMP or CAPM exam, it is essential that you keep yourself fully engaged and immersed in the PIMBOK doctrine and PMI dogma. These study materials enable you to do just that. Play the CDs in the car and on the move. Get motivated to get certified and take your organization and yourself to a higher level of deliberate and intentional project management. Commence using all that you learn in this study today in the office tomorrow. The more you apply it, the more you know. And the more you know, the more you grow. And the more you grow, the more your company grows. Remember, you have a friend and stakeholder in Prezion Media, your number one project management training, mentoring, and coaching resource. And now, let's join Phil in the classroom to learn about Chapter 1 in the Pinball Guide, which is an introduction to project management. Hello and welcome to Demystifying the PMBOK Guide and the PMP Exam. This series is designed to help you understand how to maximize the knowledge in the PMBOK Guide for your daily project management and to ace the PMP Exam. The PMBOK Guide encompasses good practices in project management. These good practices can be used to scale across various projects. Before discussing the processes of project management in the PMBOK guide, it's very important that you understand the basics. And that is what the first chapter in the PMBOK guide presents to you. It presents the basics of project management. You see, the PMBOK guide is an overview of the subset of the project management body of knowledge recognized as good practice. In fact, PMBOK, P-M-B-O-K, is the acronym for Project Management Body of Knowledge. The PMBOK Guide, 5th edition, documents emerging good practices in project management, and it also describes knowledge that's unique to project management, which may overlap with other areas of expertise. The great thing about the PMBOK Guide 5th edition is it provides a common lexicon for project management. You see, you've got people working in project management across the world. People use different terms. But the PMBOK Guide puts everyone on the same page regarding project management terminology. And that's why it's a really great standard to read and understand. In fact... If you are prepared for the PMP exam, your end goal should be to understand this knowledge, understand these terms, and put them to use in your everyday project management. In fact, teach people around you these new terms. Some of the terms you might be already familiar with, but some of these terms may be brand new. How about developing that common lexicon in your company? It's a really great standard to take you to that next level. People often ask, well, project management, isn't this really a little bit overrated? Isn't project management something that's been around for years? That's true. It's been around for years. But you see, 
project management is evolving. People are getting smarter. The same way technology is evolving, it's the same way processes, procedures, and guidelines for managing projects and getting work done is changing. You see, people say, why project management? Well, projects are authorized to fulfill a need for products or services. And these projects are short-term endeavors that need to be managed to maximize time, maximize money, and opportunities. So that's a major reason for project management. We want to get the optimum out of everything we're putting in to these short-term endeavors. And that's why project management is here to stay. It's not going to be going anywhere, I can assure you. So welcome to the discussion. We're going to be going through the PMBOK Guide 5th edition. So you might every now and again need to hit the pause button just to assimilate what I tell you, what I share with you. Sometimes you might need to rewind and listen to it again. And that's all right. That's really what this is all about. Getting the information, understanding it, and being able to apply it. Now, the PMBOK guide is a standard. It's not a regulation. You see, a standard is a document that defines an agreed way or an established method. For example, it could be a policy, a procedure, specification, criteria, a guideline, practice, or process for doing something. So the PMBOK guide is a standard. It's not a regulation. A regulation is different. A regulation is a law, principle. You could think about it as a legal restriction or a sanction that is imposed by an authoritative organization, for example, a government agency. So when you think about the PMBOK guide, remember, it is a standard. So welcome once again. Right away, we're going to be jumping into Chapter 1 of the PMBOK Guide, which is called Introduction. We're going to examine what basics we need to know to build upon that knowledge in the subsequent chapters of the PMBOK Guide.